hit my stride that day. And um, ever since that point, it just started clicking, and uh, I felt normal ever since. What, um, and I guess mentally, you still have to get back out because it's been a year, over a year since you were out there competing. Yeah. Is that a challenge as much as it is the physical of being able to kick it again, mentally getting out there and, and doing it in front of 80,000? Uh, I don't think so, just because I could draw back on the experiences of the first two years uh, whenever I was kicking. So I can easily look back at those and uh, mentality wise. But another thing that helped out was the spring game. Um, I didn't know how I felt about it at first. I'm going to be completely honest, just because I wasn't completely comfortable yet. I hadn't been kicking that long. And uh, just being out in front of um, the Clemson family for the first time in a while, it was a little weird. But um, it was cool because as soon as I stepped out there, I was comfortable. Like I wasn't nervous, didn't have any jitters. So I was happy about that. What was the uh, the toughest part of rehab? And, and you've, you've seen athletes go through it before, probably guys you know. Did you go through it yourself? What was the, what was the toughest part of it? Um, the toughest part would just be going in there with a positive mindset every single day, uh, just because there'd be some days where you don't really want to go out there and uh, or like go into rehab and lift all the weights and have to sit in there by yourself whenever everybody else is out of practice. Um, those were probably the toughest times, just because um, you have to keep a positive mindset the entire time. And what I had to do was, in the back of my mind, I just had to keep thinking, okay, what's your goal? Where do you want to get to? What do you want to accomplish? And as long as I focused on my um, on my time on those, sorry, on my time on those, then uh, it was easier to push through. Does it make you, Does it make you appreciate this game that you? Oh, that, yeah. I mean, because you had to obviously appreciate it because you're given your, your route to get here. Yeah. And then you had it taken away from you. you know? Yeah, I definitely appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. Um, so being able to start the first two years, um, that is an absolute blessing. And even if I don't get the starting job coming back, um, I thank God every day to be able to have those opportunities, whether it would just be for the first two years. But um, being able to work back to that um, would mean the absolute world to me because having to sit in my apartment during the away games and watch my team go and uh, compete without me against another team, that was, that was pretty tough. Um, I'd say those were harder than the home games just because I got to be with the guys. I was on the sideline with the guys, um, still talking them through the games. But the hardest part with that was just my role change, um, changing from leading by example. So basically with the other specialists or the other guys on the team, being a leader where, okay, what I do, you do. Um, so just like doing all the right things. But if you can't really walk, if you're not required to be at some meetings like you can't really do that you can't really be that like that type of leader for your team so it, I had to move into just a vocal leader a vocal leader and uh, with that it was mainly just like a support like support guy which was extremely weird but made me appreciate it in the end and I grew as a person because of it the, I, was, I, was, I just got one more are the coaches coaching you just as hard I mean how, how do they coach up kickers I mean because obviously they can see what you know the yeah the, they're, they're coaching me the exact same way uh, I'm honestly thankful for that is because they're not looking at me like, okay, like he's injured, like he's maybe not completely back yet whenever I was first trying to get back. Um, from day one, whenever I started kicking again, um, it was like I was never injured. And uh, that was pretty cool because it just made me push myself harder to get back. You talked about it being frustrating last year, especially during this away game. What was it like for you sitting on the field? You see Alex missed a couple of field goals um, really the only thing that was going through my mind right there was it wasn't necessarily like okay like we might win this game or we might lose this game that never crossed my mind the, the entire time I felt for Alex just because um, that was really his first what is this, one of his first away games yeah his first away game and uh, I just felt for him because that's a terrible situation to be in especially uh, whenever you get the starting job on a Thursday and uh, throughout that entire week, you're thinking um, that I'm going to be kicking. And then you go out there, and then it's Team Thursday, and it's like, you're the guy. So it's like he never had any time to mentally prepare for it. Um, whenever I first came in, I had all fall camp. And um, kind of had, like, the idea and in the back of my mind, because, like, as a kicker, you want to come out, and you're like, okay, like, I'm the guy. And because uh, confidence is huge. But with him, like, he didn't have time to prepare like that. So uh, he didn't have time to get his mind right. So I was feeling for him the whole time. Um, and then I reached out to him after the game, but I mean, I absolutely hate to see that for him because he's one of the hardest workers you'll ever see, and he absolutely deserved to perform his best. So the Clemson uh, 
So the Clemson football walk ons page on Instagram was pretty popular for a while, and it's kind of gone silent lately. Do you think it's ever going to make a return, or is it going for good? Uh, it'll probably make a return. Eventually. Eventually. Postseason. Along, Postseason. And, uh, and along with that, are you going to see a uh, uh, Greg Hugel or Alex Spencer, BT Potter for Heisman campaign like Drew Cosby did? I doubt it. <laughs> you probably already answered this, but no, no knee brace. At what point during camp did you start feeling 100% like – I started feeling 100% probably like two weeks before fall camp started because um, that's whenever I ditched the brace. And uh, ever since then, I haven't looked back. Um, I felt confident that day. I was hitting the ball well, and I was like, okay, like, let me just try it without the knee brace. So, like, let's just see how it goes. So I talked to Danny Poole. He let me take it off, and uh, it felt perfectly fine. And I was like, okay, I'm never putting that thing on again unless I have to. So. Greg, uh, you talked about how important his confidence is for a kicker. Um, yeah. Coming into last season, you know, you're a clear-cut starter, really not the competition.